Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Josh. Welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're here with some more of this fantastic Minecraft modded survival series called Crash Landing. And in this fine episode, we have gotten actually a ton of work done. Let's look in our chest here. Ready? Oh yes, we've got about one and a half stacks, a little bit less than one and a half stacks of redstone. We got some iron in here. We got some iron ore right there. There we need to do that. We got some certus. We've got some salt. Oh goodness. We've got a good amount of materials um, Over here. We actually okay. We've got our sieve here um, up here though is where the action comes in We've got an iron sword, which is a bummer that it's a zero or a one out of one of damage, but that's okay um, We don't have much food left So that's an issue that we need to deal with very soon and that we can deal with soon uh, But this rice seed is something we're going to deal with today Anyway, let's place some dust in there, and let's take a look in our quest book and see what we need to get done. As you guys can see here, we've got a lot of quests ready to be worked on. Uh, first of them is the cooking or cooking utensils. We can do that today. Um, I also want to get myself a bucket to move the water inside. Um, we've got some rice that we need to cook up today as well. We can make ourselves a crucible. That would be, ooh, we need to do this for sure. All right, and um, it wants a small little smeltery. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, do 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 Okay, anyway, let's start with our first basic thing. I want to start simply by taking some of these ores, like iron, which is the most crucial right now, and throwing it into our smeltery. That's good. Um, and actually, let's let that cook up, and let's throw that in there, I know. Did I just... Oh, cool. I just glitched that out and just advanced it to the end. That's kind of funny. Um, anyway, let's grab some charcoal. We just need like two or three in here to uh, let us cook the rest of that up. I will do one more. Actually, we'll keep that right there. That's like a small little glitch, I take it. Anyway, that should be enough to cook us through, right? All right, let's hope for it. All right, anyway, let's head over here. And we're going to grab the iron that we already have, which is right here. We're going to craft that into a bucket. And we are going to head simply right outside, and we are going to grab ourselves the water that we actually have right here. Where is it? Where's that source? There it is. No, there we go. All right, let's head inside, and we're going to place it, hmm. I might move it, but for now, all right, we're going to want to place it, like, right about here. So we need to get ourselves some sort of axe going, or, um, what's it called? A, a, uh, what's it called? A pickaxe. All right. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Do I have any? Yes, I've got a pickaxe head. All right. And we need a stick and just a binding tool, right? For an axe. Let's see. Pickaxe. Yeah, it needs one of those guys. So let's grab that. There we go. And we can do simply like a... We can do a bone wheel binding. I don't think it's going to need anything more. Half a material. Yeah, that's that. And then um, what's that going to require? Just one. So we'll do flint there for him. Cool. Let's make it with the part builder. Coolio, there's that, plus that, parts can be replaced, cool, there's that, plus that, a flint head, parts can be replaced as well, and let's place that there, actually no, we've already got that, we can make ourselves just an oak plank, there we go, stick, and right up here, we're going to make ourselves a simple little, one of these guys, yes, look at this, that's nice to finally have something right there, a pickaxe, that's all, that's all I gotta say. It's nice to have a pickaxe. Alright, so we're gonna want to break that there. Break that there. Break that there. And I'm actually, for now, going to simply place the water right here. And I know, I know. Whoops. Wanna let me out? Hey, that would be, that would be prime. Alright. I know, I know. There's no use to that right this second. But in just a moment there will be. Do I have... No, I don't. I thought I had a barrel made already. Well, there's another thing we need to do. We're going to make ourselves a barrel. Um... I swear I had one made. Maybe not. Alright. Place that there. Hmm. I thought I had it over in that corner. I guess not. Anyway, we're going to place in there some of these. We're going to place whatever it needs. We just need one piece of dirt for it. There's that. Cool, cool. And factory blocks. Useless. Nice. Alright, once that dirt's done compo composting, we'll move that. We got our iron right here. We'll smelt that until that's done. And then we're going to place just a piece of wood right here. Or a, uh, not a piece of wood. We're going to place ourselves a small little piece of, um, dirt right there. 
and then we can actually make some things. Ooh, one scanner's the owner of this stuff. Okay. Um, anyway, we need to make ourselves now a hoe. So to do that, a hoe is going to need a hoe head. I think that's what it's called. Is there a hoe in here? Maybe not. I thought there was one. Or is this one? The Matic. No. Alright. I thought there was a hoe, but I guess not. I guess a hoe can be made normally. So let's see. Uh, if we were to grab two pieces of that. And go one, two. And like that. So I can say, yeah, one out of one. But I guess we can use that one use for what we need. Alright, let's grab that dirt. We'll place it right there. There's that one use it got out of it. But it's now usable for, well, rice. Cool. Nice. We're going to place that there. And um, we're going to use this water real quickly in this guy. Place that right there. With that right there. And we should be good for right now on water. Cool. So now if we were to grab just a little bit of our bone meal. Let's see what we can make. 100%. There's that. Nice. A rice. 50%. And 100% cool. What does it want here? It wants a single... Oh, 10 rice and 10 seeds. Okay. Well, well how do we do that? <laughs> Not too bad. We just grab ourselves some, well, bone meal. And we're just going to keep going like this. And we need 20 pieces or 20 rice because each one of these makes a single uh, seed and a single rice, which is cool. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. There we go. And there's 10 and 10. Nice. Quest book manual submit. And look at that. We get ourselves an orange sapling, two cold water bottles, a cotton, coffee, or tea. All right, we're going to go with coffee. And then we get ourselves an orange sapling. So we have a good area. Nice. Look at this. Not recently eaten. That has to be planted. That can be planted. But hey, we can actually start doing some cool stuff with this now. And I'm actually feeling good about our food situation for once with this toast. All right. Anyway, now that we've finished that guy, let's go back. Doesn't open thing else? No. All right. Even hotter. So we need to make a crew. You can use a crucible like a mini smeltery. Shift right click items to place a faucet. All right. Um, it only takes blocks, not dust or broken pieces of ore. If you've saved the uh, perothium by the brook edge and you can use that to heat your crucible. Also, you can make your cast by pouring gold over stone parts. Nice. So we can make ourselves a small little smeltery right here. Well, let's head out here. Um, we've got ourselves this, which is just a little bit of clay. There, right there, and right there. And we're going to need to make ourselves some porcelain clay off of this regular clay. And also, nighttime is coming upon us. Let's see if we can sleep yet. Nope, not yet. All right, porcelain clay. So a bucket's going to need three. One, two, three. And the other one's going to need seven. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. Uh, smelt this stuff up. Place that in there. Or not. Whoa. Sleep real quickly, though, so that we don't have to die. Um, for some reason, when I logged in, my game mode was flickering, by the way, guys, if you haven't noticed that I'm here. Um, I don't know why. It just was flickering back and forth, and it was weird. Wait. What is it? To make ourselves a um, clay bucket? One of these guys, right? No, 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 no. What is it again? Uh-oh. Unfired crucible. All right. Sorry about that. It's an unfired crucible. I hit F11 and it stopped my recording. It was weird. Unfired crucible. And how are you made? Yeah, that's what I thought. And this is made by... Oh, bummer. All right. All right. That's a bu That's frustrating. Okay, anyway, um, we'll make ourselves one of these. I knew one needed porcelain clay. I wish I just double-checked before because this is all the clay we're going to get. All right, there's that and that. Let's smelt one up there. And we're going to smelt this other guy up in just a moment. Just about done. And we're going to head upstairs and we're going to, not upstairs, but outside. And we're going to need to get ourselves uh, right above that pyothium or pyrothium, whatever that really hot material um, liquid out there is, we're going to use to fire up our crucible. But now we've got a clay bucket and a regular bucket, so that's kind of useless as well. Um, let's remove. That's just going to cook all of it if I don't remove that. And let's see. I think we're just about ready. We just need a little bit of cobblestone up there. Um, I believe seven, eight cobblestone will make us what we need to fill up a bucket. 
Um, I want to get just a bit of lava, and the lava is going to be used to make an unlimited amount of cobblestone in just a little bit in the future. So that's what we need all this lava, or what we need this really for at this moment. All right, let's check here. Um, if we break this out, it should be... Where's a source block? That's a source block, or is a source block oak? I believe that's a source block, right? Yeah, that is the source block. Whoa, there. Careful. All right, that's going to go right there. That's going to go right there. And I guess the other side's going to be uncovered. And what are we going to do? Well, we're going to place this cobblestone right in there. So that fills up. We need a 1,000. You can see how fast that is. It's 0.7 millibuckets a tick. So once we get a 1,000, we got ourselves a cobblestone, which is nice, or lava, which is nice. So let's head inside again real quickly. Um, we're going to want to set up our little system, our, these guys on the wall here. Let's get rid of this here. And where's that? All right, you're 100% shelled, constructioned. Um, and I want to grab myself, uh, or myself, how much do you have in there? Cool. Uh, just a little bit. We need 10 of these. 9, 10. And we're going to want to make ourselves just another one of that okay just another bucket of water which is perfect we just need it because we are going to be using the other bucket for an unlimited lava source which is really nice all right we're just about there all right and 800 this thing is fantastic and we'll move this eventually the pyro or pyothium i'm gonna get rid of all this here um scavenge that and we'll be good to go but we need to just get this and for now we'll be fine and we'll leave it right up here. There we go. A bucket of lurver. And that's not going to have enough quite to make another bucket of lurver. But um, it'll be fine for right this second. So in here we go. Um, I'm going to grab one more piece of cobblestone. And this is a cool little trick if you guys don't know it. For getting an unlimited source of water. Or an unlimited source of cobblestone. Um, let's go. Oh, hey, rice. I didn't realize you can just cook right there. Nice. So, um, I actually want to swap these guys around. I want to have the lava as far away from us as possible. And there's that. And ooh, we're out of water. Alright, we're going to have to use this water that we just made to fill up a bucket. Or a glass bottle. Alright. Let's go here. Let's place that there. That there. Camel pack. Cool. Alright, what a bummer on that. But soon we'll be fine in just a moment. We're just hot because we're standing right by that lava there. There we go. It's so much cooler right here. Anyway, um, one more thing I want to do is I want to make myself a half slab. Or I have one. Perfect. So we're going to place that right over that guy. That's going to cover that up. And then I want to move this guy. Can I break him here? I can. All right. Let's move him, this strong box, right over. Hmm. Can I place it right on? T no, I can't place it on top of that one. Let's move it. Hmm. You know what? Let's just combine these two strong boxes and place the other one inside that one. That'll be fine. Alright, let's place that there, that there, that there, that there. Actually, that's not even needed in there. Okay. And here we go. We're going to move that. Place that right there. Alright. So we are going to get ourselves just a simple transfer node. If you guys don't know this, you can grab a transfer a um, item transfer note. We need to make that. Only thing is, our heat is off the chart standing by that lava. So we need to be very cautious over there. So our un or transfer node right there, we need to make ourselves a pipe. All right, stone slab. Well, that's going to be some cobblestone, three cobblestone. Perfect. Place that right there. And I want to place that in there. And let's just basically go like this. So let me get the materials that are needed to finish this up. And I'll be back once we're ready to craft it. Oh, ex nihilo. <laughs> this is what I love. Having to get sand this way is a very old method of feeling like we're in the Stone Ages once again. Um, how much am I actually going to need of that? Okay. And there, we only need two of it. We've got two gravel now. The good old, old ages of um, agrarian skies and sky factory and whatever else we needed ex nihilo for. All right, there we go. See you guys in just a moment. All right, guys, time to do a little bit of crafting. It's going to be three, three, and our glass, one, two, 
redstone. There we go, transfer pipe. Then we need to make ourselves a full block of redstone. And then we just need to get ourselves a chest. All right, one, two, one, two. Got eight. There we go, a chest, block of redstone, 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 transfer pipe. And what was it? Two pieces of stone. One, two. Perfect. And the last thing we're going to need is this. Um, it's going to be a barrel. I believe it's... Um, actually, I forget the crafting recipe for a barrel. Barrel. It is... This guy. Better barrel. Alright, it's a chest we need. boo doo doop ba doop ba doop There we go. Chest. And... No, I don't have it. Okay. We're going to need this. boo doom And we can craft this guy now. Perfect. A better barrel. And what are we going to do? We're going to head right over here. Place that right there. Place the better barrel right on top of that. And ready for this? Aw, oh, yeah. Look at that go. <laughs> We've got ourselves unlimited cobblestone now, guys. I actually want to rotate this guy this way. Let's, um... Alright, let's have this on here this way. So I can actually see it. And um, we need to grab ourselves. I guess one, two, three of that. And we need three of that. There we go. And we can place that right over that guy. And we should be good there. And we should be fine there. Cool. Alright, now we need to deal with this water crisis of mine. So we need to make ourselves some shears. We can do that simply by going one, two, three. And a... Oh. <coughs> what a waste of iron. Oi, it's okay. We can use the um, smell tree to break it down later. Um, we need one, two, one, two. There we go. Now we're not going to be wasting no iron in here. <laughs> all right, and we're going to head outside, and we're going to simply shear all this away like last time. Woo! There's that. And over this one, too. And we should be good on water from now on. We just need to clean the water all the time, but we should be good from now on. Let's see. We'll break that stuff. There's that. And all of this. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So we need just blank or empty water bottles. Hey, lava, you don't spread in this place. Right, we need some empty glass water bottles. We can do that. But first, it needs to barrel that up. There we go. And we should be good on that. While we're waiting there, let's check our quest book. Oh, yeah, we can do this. Now we get a rewards here, and we can get these. So, let's see. What is important? We already... We don't need that. A sword blade is probably going to be the most important at this point over that. Actually, this is ore duplication, but we can make one of those pretty easily. We get a full guard seared. Cool, cool. Let's claim that reward. Nice. So, we're going to use this, and we'll get into that very soon, but not right this second, because I don't think that is on our priority list right now. Um, let's make ourselves another chest, because we're already we're already flooding our chest gates here. There we go, 16. I'm going to place that. And I did have a freaking barrel. Herp derp to the max. <sighs> wow. <laughs> That was a true derp moment right there. Now we have two barrels, though. All right, and here's the second one. We can get going two at once, though. Nice. And in here, I'm going to simply place things like that, that, that. Um, food stuff is going to go up there. We're going to place, like, rice seed up there, too. You're going to go in there and there. You're going to go up there and there and there. I'm going to place you guys in here, as well as that and that and one of these. And now, so that we don't die, <laughs> um, we need to make ourselves some dirty water. Now, what happened to that? There it is. I was going to say, what happened to that dirt that we had? One, two, dirty water. And we're going into, we're going to die if we don't get water in our system. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Uh, one. Water. That. Plus that. Gives us that. And two. Water. That. Plus that. Gives us that. Plus that there. And we're good. Alright. Perfect. So let's look back in our quest book. 
night fighter. So we need to kill some things at night. Um, just some more spiders and zombies, which we can get to. Or manipulation, melting leaves. Here we go. We need a water bucket. So that's going to require us to just go here. I'm going to place that there. And I don't know how many leaves that uses. Oh, 10 as well. 7 and 8. Was there 200 in there? Poifect, poifect, poifect. 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. All right. We should be good on water at this point now. Cool, cool, cool. That's what I like to see, guys. Let's grab another two of those. Let's go one. Whoops. One, two. And there's that. We need just a tad of wood to place in there. Place that right there. And the other one there as well. All right. Well, we've got one bucket worth there, so let's fill that up. And let's claim this reward. Cool. And we're going to place this guy in there as well. And we are going to do this. Plus that. Plus that. Equals that. And we're full. Cool. So our one bucket, we're going to go manual submit. And rewards. I don't know why... An oak sapling at this point is useless, but okay. Um, or manipulation, so that's done. How about up here, drink mud, purified, that's done. Can we, we're not quite ready for under pressure yet. What else do we need? Metal dust. Oh, we need gold, silver. All right, so that's going to be just a little bit of smelting at this point. So we can work on that as I go. Um, so let's see. If we go here, we got gold and lead, silver, and Iron, and we're gonna go gold right there, and go lead right there, we're gonna go silver, or is that tin? That's silver. Oh, we don't have enough for that. We're gonna go aluminum. Aluminum. We're gonna go copper, and we're gonna go, what is this, tin? Yeah. Alright, and we're gonna just simply place whatever's left of that in there, and we can head over here, grab that. Let's grab just a piece or two of this. And ready, guys? We're about to get ourselves a silver dust. Then a lead dust. And we can complete another task, which is great. We're doing good. Um, next episode, uh, we are going to have to get into more with the... Let me make silver, okay. We're going to have to get into a further, like, analysis, I guess you could say. Uh, we're going to have to make, like, a growth room for our items. Not even items. What am I saying? We're going to have to make a um, a farm area. That's what I'm trying to say. And I think I'm going to do it under the house. That would be the safest. And that would also allow us to dig more underneath the house, which is great. Uh, that just clears out the area a little bit more. Gives us some more spacing. And it's better than going out and un than anywhere else. Under is just going to get cooler and more away from all these hot surfaces. Because in a world like this, underground, it seems to be a bit cooler. I am still working on making ourselves that, um, that, like, tunnel or whatever you want to call it around the house. The, like, moat, I guess, for mobs not to spawn. So I'm working on that still. We're not quite done on that yet, but we will be soon. And then I want to just cover the rest up with cobblestone on the walls, and that should be fine. Let's see. Manual detect. Oh, it needs four of each. Oof. Okay. Well, let's do that. I'll be back once I'm done smelting four of each of these. See you guys in just a moment. Alrighty, guys. There's three. And here comes our last one, which will allow us to finish the task. I actually hope that we'll be able to finish the task, to be honest. Don't quite know yet. But, um, now yeah, we'll just let that sit and finish up there. Manual detect 100%. Ooh. 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 Hmm. Alright, what does an Emmy chest need? Actually, an Emmy chest is not even useful. <laughs> um, leadstone thrusters. Let's see what those need. Leadstone thrusters. So they need a logic card. Which is going to need some of this stuff from Pneumatic Craft. Okay. But what does a hardened energy cell need? Hardened energy cell. That's going to just need that plus invar. Invar in this pack is going to be iron plus pulverized ferrous. All right. I'm going to go with these leadstone thrusters. And we're going to hop into bed so that we don't have to die here. 
Let Thrown Thrusters seem just a bit more complicated, and they can also help us to get flight once we need flight, which is good. Alright, let's place this stuff in here now. And what I want to do is, oh, we got a hardened flux capacitor. Nice, that's got 40,000 power or some on it, which is good to see. Alright, so before we end today's episode, I want to get ourselves a basic power, small little power system going. If you guys don't know, you can get yourself a survivalist generator. This guy right here, which is pretty, pretty basic. It doesn't cook too, or use too much fuel, and it cooks slowly, and it generates just a small amount of RF, but it's just enough for what we need. And we have enough, uh, definitely enough, um, cobblestone for it. It's just a matter of making it at this point. There's that. We'll place that there. It's gonna go like that. <laughs> that there. It's gonna need a piece of iron. And two redstone. One, two. Alright, iron. One, two. There we go, survivalist generator. We can place that right on top of that guy. We're going to accept power from him. We are going to come over here. We're going to grab our charcoal. We're gonna place. Oops, that doesn't use that. The charcoal, you can see, is going to burn. And this guy is going to slowly, slowly go up. And it's going to increase our power, which is, once again, what we need to see at this point. So, guys... I think we're leaving off here at a pretty dandy point. I need to do a little bit more off-camera work, let this guy definitely power up itself, but um, off-camera work is going to consist of just mining this out, getting ready to continue up on this episode, making our area just a bit more safe, and um, getting more ores, and I mean, digging downstairs and cleaning this um, that area over there up. But other than that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, could you please leave a rating, let me know how I did, and I will. See you all in the next one. Bye.